Hello, Math 133 students. I've received a request for help with this problem, which is section 3.3, number one. So I'm going to do the example, but of course, it'll be very similar to how the problem actually works. So it says currently or recently a random sample of uh, 13 to 18 year olds was asked, how much do you currently have in savings? The data in the table represent the responses to the survey. Approximate the mean and standard deviation amount of savings. So I'm going to click on the little icon here. It's going to give me a table. And if I was working um, by hand, I could write that table down. Um, I'm actually working on a computer right now, so I'm actually just going to copy it to the clipboard and then copy it. Um, I'm hitting Control and C. And then I'm going to put it into um, an Excel spreadsheet or a Google spreadsheet right here. So this is 3.3 number one, my stat lab tutorial. All right, so I have my lower limits of 0, 200, and so on. I have my upper limits of 100, 199, 399, and so on, and my frequencies right here. So the long and the short of it is that I need midpoints. I mean, I know I need the, the frequency, and if I was working this by hand, I would do the same thing. I would just draw um, a table, and I need to get the midpoints because that's going to be L1 for my calculator. Okay, so I need to find the middle of those values. So remember that the midpoint is, so I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it better. The midpoint is the mean between consecutive lower class limits. So the midpoint for the first class is you add 0 and 200 together and divide by 2. So this would be, um, let me write it out, the formula real quick. And I, Again, you could write this on paper. There's nothing special about a computer. I just happen to be on a computer to do this. So you add 0 and 100, but then you divide by 2, which of course would be, and I can actually type it into a, um, my spreadsheet, 0 plus 200, close parentheses, divided by 2. There you go, it's 100. Now the next class is lower class, or the next class is midpoint, would be halfway between 200 and 400. So you could do the same thing. You could say parentheses 200 plus 400, close parentheses divided by 2. I mean, that would work. Equals, right, like that. It'll get you 300. But another thing to see is that the width of this is 200, right? 0 plus 200 makes 200. 200 plus 200 makes 400. 400 plus 200 makes 600. So in other words, you can note the class width is uh, 400 take away 200 or 200 take away 0, which is 200. Now I can use that fact to find this number instead. So instead of doing 200 plus 400 divided by 2, I could do 100 plus 200 makes 300. Now I could add the class width again. 300 plus 200 makes 500. And then add it again. 700, uh, 900, 1100, and 1300. And I would get the same answers as if I'd done the formula part, right? So I'm just adding 200 to get to here. Then I add, oh, I should put in quotes, add 200 to get me to the next one, and so on. I keep adding that width to kind of move my way down the column. So if I take the first column's midpoints, and then I add the width to it of 200, then I get the next one. Then I add the width again that gets me the next 200, and so on. This table right here is what I'm going to actually use to answer the questions that it was asking for. All right, now how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to use a calculator. So I'm going to go to Stat. I'm going to go to um, clear on the calculator, of course. Go to Stat, name of the class. It's always a sign. Go to number one, which is Edit. I'm going to clear out my old data, so go up and press clear, enter, and I'm going to type in those midpoints. So the first midpoint was 100, the second midpoint was 300, and so on. Whoop, not 5,000, 500. Now I'm going to go type my frequencies, which I do not remember what those were. So let me make this smaller so I can see it. All right, it's 324. 83, 67, 26, 15, 5, and 2. All right, so those are in L1 and L2. Now I would go stat, calculate, one variable statistics. Now my data are in L1, right? So I want L1 because that's where my midpoints were. My midpoints are L1. So that's my, my variable, if you will. 
So that's good. But I have a frequency list, right? Because not all of these midpoints were worth the same amount. That first 100 happened 324 times, way more than the 1300 happened. So I need a way to tell the calculator that, and that's what the frequency list does. Uh, in other words, you want to get your freak on, as it were, your freak, as in your frequency list. So I want to tell it my frequency list, but my frequency list was in L2. So in other words, the midpoints are L1 and the frequencies are L2. So I want to tell the calculator to go to L2 for my frequencies, which would be above the 2 button, there's a blue L2. That's what you need. So you need to hit the second button, the blue button, or in other words, shift. So over this blue button up here in the top corner, and then hit two. And then when you move away from it, you've got list is L1, frequency list is L2, and you can hit calculate. And there you go. Your mean is 250.192. And then I believe it said it was a sample. So I have to go back and double check real quick. So the mean is 200. Oh, I've already lost it. There, I put it back up on screen. So 250.192. I don't know how many decimal places they want. I'll figure that out in a second. And the standard deviation, well, it depends. There's two standard deviations given to you by the calculator. There's the S and there's the sigma. The S is if my data was a sample or what was were from a sample. And the sigma is if my data were from a population. So I have to go back and look at the problem for a second. And figure out which one I was doing. So problems right over here. Okay, so I'm going to click done. I'm going to click done on that. Yep, it said random sample right there at the top. So this is a sample. So that means I'm going to use S. And that also means, by the way, that this was an X bar that I calculated. Oop, not there. Come back. There it is. So this is X bar. So X bar. I can't do the symbol right in here, but I call it X bar. And standard deviation would be S. And that would be from the calculator 236.355. Because my data were from a sample, therefore I'm going to use the S one. That's the sample um, standard deviation. And then I think we're done. I think that answered all the questions they wanted, but let's double check real quick with the problem. So I can click continue through all of this. They're showing the by hand method, but we don't have to do it by hand. So um, we don't need it. Notice they found the midpoints just like we did. And then they're doing the by hand formulas, but we don't need it. Oh, and they rounded to the nearest whole number. So they did 236 and 250, which is fine. We could round to. So they went 250 here for the mean instead of 250.192. And then they said 236 which is fine. Um, usually they'll tell you somewhere how many decimal places they want it round to do. Um, if not, actually you can see it in the background. It says round to the nearest dollar. See, round to the nearest dollar. So it's telling you to go to the nearest whole number. So right there, that's how you would do that. All right, I hope that helps with that problem. Be sure to use your calculator and be sure to use the frequency list function on that calculator because that's what's going to make this problem go so much nicer. You do not want to do this by hand. You want to use the frequency list availability in the um, stat edit or stat calc number one one variable. One other side note before I go away. If your calculator menu, if you have a TI-84, um, 83s don't have this menu system, so you have to do L1, L2. But if you have an 84, it should have this option. If it does not, and it's a TI-84 of any kind, you can get it upgraded for free. Um, there are video tutorials online. If you look on YouTube, you know, upgrading your TI-84, you'll find it. Um, basically, you have to download a little bit of software from the TI website and connect your computer to your calculator and do it that way. Also, I can do it for you in my office hours. Um, the tutors in the Center for Student Success can do it for you for free also. So you should have this menu. If you do not with an 84, you need to get the free upgrade um, as soon as possible because it'll make things go a lot easier for you.